Uh, so my name is Derek Deacon Rogers. Uh, I live in Christie Park uh, on the west side of the city. Basic income to me uh, is the floor that allows people to get a leg up or be more stable as they try, try something new or try to get on their feet. The fact that it's already, there's already an existing system that is broken and the fact that basic income has the potential to clean up that system and make it better for everybody. The other thing about basic income that I find interesting is understanding that entrepreneurial, uh, I guess, new inventions and new ways of doing things are actually causing the, a lot of the jobs that are at the um, easier jobs to get coming out of school or some of the ones that don't require schooling uh, are going to be taken away. Uh, you look at automated vehicles, for example. Uh, all of a sudden now we're going to have people who uh, traditionally could go into a job of driving a truck or driving delivery and if that's all going to be done through machines, how are those people going to find stable work that has them engaged in the society? Hopes for basic income uh, would be give everybody a fair chance to be stable and be a contributing member of society. Anytime you are uh, asking people to give other people the benefit of the doubt, uh, you're going to run up against uh, paradigms that need to be challenged. Uh, I think the only way to possibly get over that hurdle uh, is to actually have real life examples of what basic income could do uh, for a society, which is a lot of the value of this conversation. Having conversations about it is a phenomenal place to start. I think that the uh, ability for people to pause and think about what it actually means, opposed to just making a snap judgment on it, uh, is very vital. Uh, I think also uh, leading with examples that uh, cause people to question what they previously had in their minds. Uh, when you hear about basic income, a lot of times people will go straight to welfare and think about people uh, at that level uh, or that sector of society whereas really thinking about what it means from how we can all contribute to uh, people, whether it be through uh, EI, people getting laid off, whether it could be uh, parental leave, whether it could be something else like that, that is so vital for us as a society when we can reduce the, the nagging stress and the lingering self-doubt that comes from, can I actually provide for myself and my family? I think we can see a huge increase in society. So for me personally, uh, I've been an entrepreneur now uh, for about 30 months running a business. Uh, business has been doing very well. It's called Generous Solutions. Uh, we do ticketing donation collection for charities and nonprofits. Uh, we've, our platform has been used to raise over $700,000 for Alberta nonprofits. It's going very well. Uh, it's, it's working quite well. Uh, but I haven't taken a salary in 30 months. Uh, all the money that I make gets reinvested back into the business and pays the other people that are doing the work for me. Uh, and so basic income to me would actually provide a significant amount of stability and a lot of comfort uh, for my family that uh, my wife does a lot around the house, which I truly appreciate. She has a lot working as well and provides for our family until my business is able to do the same thing. How it's difficult for people to take the time to understand the many different complexities of a issue. It's easier for them to say, I'm this and I'm going to stick like this and put their stake in the ground. The ability to actually take the time to think about, okay, what are some of the other, what's the gray area, what's the nuance, what's the, what's the other side thinking and how does that actually portray? But if we talk about something like basic income, the ability to say basic income could mean a free handout to those freeloaders who are doing drugs and they're just going to sit home and do drugs all the time. And there's people that have that opinion. And basic income could be, you know, I'm starting a business that's going to contribute back to society and I can't take a salary for 30 months and that's the other end of it. And it's like, the ability to say it's not one or the other, it's all of it. And that's where that conversation needs to occur. So, for example, truck drivers, those kind of things. And as people continue to progress with automation, machine learning, how we can actually do those things, which then help the, uh, the efficiency of overworked, high stressed, high income people, it actually leaves a void within the market for people to actually do the work that's required to do that. So, that's the kind of thing that I find. I see this as a very much a, a, a long-term um, societal issue that we're going to have to face at some point. And either the system is broken or the people are broken. And I'm not ever going to admit that or even entertain that the people are broken. So therefore, the system's broken. So how do we improve the system? Because either you improve the system or you improve the people. That's how you get better. Improving the people can't occur unless the system is fixed. And so that's, that's again, I can wrap up. Okay. Well, I got the last piece. Okay, good. <laughs>